Hello subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I'm your friend Anwar Kumar. So today we are going to talk about the Cognizant Campus Selection Assessment 1. So lots of people have applied this in this company and they have got this type of mail in last seven, uh, seven hours ago. So we are going to talk about uh, all the guidelines of this test. Okay, so if you have not subscribed my channel yet, so please go and subscribe my channel first and also press the bell icon. So let's start this video. So first of all, uh, we will talk about the timing of the test. So test will be start from the 8th of July, 9 a.m. to the 9th of July, 2 p.m. That you can give a test between these two timings. Okay, you can give a test any time between these two dates. And the duration of test will be of two hours. Okay. And for that, after, for giving the test, you have to click on auto login link. Then the, uh, you will be transferred to the MCAT site and you have to uh, start the test from this. For that purpose, you must have the knowledge that a guideline, what you should follow, then uh, this is the guideline given here, then you must have a laptop or computer with a web, uh, webcam because webcam is compulsory that you will be recorded. Okay, so webcam is compulsory and you must have a smooth internet connectivity that at least, at least you must have 2 Mbps internet con connectivity. So if you have any picture, uh, the, while giving the test, you have, uh, if you have any picture behind you, uh, on the wall, then you must avoid that because that the webcam can detect this picture as an image and you may be disqualified. So this thing, you must avoid these things. Okay. And the second, uh, next thing that you do not try to print screen, do not try to control P or copy the content of the screen during the test, then this will cause a, dis a disqualification disqualification of you. Okay. And also try to avoid the use of mobile phone and camera during the test. And see here that you must, uh, there should not be a hindrance of a webcam lenses that your lenses must be clear that you, you are clearly visible. You must have clearly visible to the camera. Okay. And you must uh, do not uh, uh, open the uh, another tab that here it is mentioned that you can see here. Do not open another tab or application like Notepad, Excel, web browser like Google and Etc. Then you must not do this thing because if you are uh, moving from one page to another page, then it will be detected. Okay. So do not try to do these things and try to avoid this thing because you may get disqualified. Okay. And the next thing that in case of test stops and halts during the due to the internet and connect, uh, electricity failure, you will be able to resume your assessment from the same point you have logged out without losing any time. Wait for five minutes, log in again with the same credentials and click on resume in complete test. You will be select, you, ha you will have to select the name and continue the attempting the test. Then there is my, uh, by chance you may, uh, you may have an internet issue, then do not worry about that. Just try to log in again with the same credentials. Okay, and you can start the test from, from the last point, from the same point where you have logged out. Okay, so listen the next one that is very important that after you log in into test you have to finish the test within the three hours so test timing is two hours but you have to finish the test that you may have any login issue yeah you must have you may have an internet issue then for that purpose you must have to complete the test within the three hours that's it you can't give yeah you will not have the more than three hours you have to complete if you are starting this time uh, 9 p.m then you have to complete the test till the 12 p.m. That three hours. Okay. So please ensure that you have to smooth electrical and internet connectivity to complete the test. And also, so here I have clearly told you that they give you webcam permission and location permission. They permission not give you mic ka permission. Hai. You can talk, but try to avoid that also because if you mouth your face, mouth ko aap move your mouth, then camera can detect that thing also. So try to avoid this thing also. Okay. And this next, uh, there is a following other steps to taking this with steps here. So for that purpose, for taking the MCAT exam, click on the URL provided in the email, follow the instructions. So you have to files to download some files. I have told you about the thesis wale type of DRC, IRC time. So you have to download some files. So you have to download some files. So, if you have a Windows, you can click on the link and download it. If you are using Mac, then you can click on this link and download that. Approx 97 or 90 MB file, just download it. Okay. 
and the server instance during the test, you will be prompt to allow the access of your webcam. Please grant the test software access to the web webcam. So, if you want to ask a lot of time, you will ask for access to the webcam. Ka. So, please, if you allow it, if you don't allow it, then you will be not allowed to give a test. Okay? And you have to follow a lot of term and conditions, so you have to follow it, you have to click on the checkbox. And when you start the test, start karo ke, then there will be a 14-digit MCAT ID. When you start the test, you have to copy the 14-digit MCAT ID. You have to copy the MCAT ID. You have to note it on the side page, so that you can use it in the future. You have to fill it in the future. Okay? Then to answer the question, uh, click on confirm and next to submit your answer. So, you have to answer confirm for answer. You have to confirm button to click on the next to click on the next. Okay. ये कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन है यू आप मस्ट फॉलो दैट प्लीज आराम से पढ़िए आप देर इज नो नेगेटिव मार्किंग नेगेटिव मार्किंग नहीं है यू हैव टू आंसर ऑल द क्वेश्चन ओके यू कांट स्किप एनी क्वेश्चन आपको हर एक क्वेश्चन का आंसर देना पड़ेगा आप कोई भी क्वेश्चन को स्किप नहीं कर सकते हैं डू नॉट क्लिक एन मॉड्यूल एग्जिट और टेक्स्ट एग्जिट आपको टेस्ट एग्जिट पे या मॉड्यूल एग्जिट पे एग्जिट पे क्लिक नहीं करना है उससे क्या होगा आपका टेस्ट क्लोज हो जाएगा यू कांट Change your answer of any previous question. आप एक बार answer कर चुके हैं, तो आप उस question के answer आप फिर से modify नहीं कर सकते। मतलब एक बार question करके next जा चुके हैं, तो वापस आप उस पहले वाले question पे नहीं आ सकते। You should close all the extra application and programs before launching launching the assessment. They will be asked to close any running application that may allow the screen sharing. So, वहाँ पे जितने भी आपके पास before starting the test जितने भी आपके एप्लीकेशन से वो आपको क्लोज करने हैं, ओके? Do not close the lockdown browser at the any given point in the test. You will be locked out of the test. तो आपका जो लॉकडाउन ब्राउज़र जो आपने डाउनलोड किया है यहाँ पे लॉकडाउन ब्राउज़र, वो आपको क्लोज नहीं करना है ड्यूरिंग द टेस्ट। अगर क्लोज करते हो, then you will be locked out, ओके? अब कुछ बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स देख लीजिए और विंडोज 10 एस इज नॉट कंपैटिबल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम जो आपको कंपैटिबल नहीं है तो यहाँ पे कुछ लिस्ट दिए हुए यू कैन गो विद दैट ओके तो ये मैं बताऊंगा नहीं नॉर्मली अभी टेस्ट आपका अगर वेबकैम चेक करना आपका वेबकैम अच्छा काम करता है या नहीं करता है देन आपको यहाँ पे क्लिक करना है इस लिंक पे क्लिक करके आपका वेबकैम आप टेस्ट कर सकते हो कि आपका चालू है या नहीं कैसा वेबकैम है तो कुछ इस टाइप का वेबसाइट पर वो जाएगा एंड ये परमिशन देना पड़ेगा देन यू कैन टेस्ट द वेबकैम ओके सो मैं टेस्ट नहीं करूंगा अभी and this uh, we have talked about this i have a cognizant candidate id here you can must have note that thing and this is all about the cognizant assessment round one okay so all the best guys Agar, uh, if, if you have any doubt so please ask me in the comment section also subscribe my channel okay so thank you for this watching this video bye bye take care